think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. But we, we try to be very clear-eyed about what the downside case is and the work that we have to do to mitigate that. What's really going on at OpenAI? Top executives are leaving, cryptic messages are being tweeted, and rumors of secret AI projects are swirling. Could this be the biggest story in AI? And is it being hidden right in front of us? In November 2023, the AI world was rocked by a surprising turn of events. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, was fired by the company's board of directors. The reasons cited were concerns over AI safety, with board members Helen Toner and Tasha McCauley reportedly leading the charge against Altman. They believed that Altman was pushing too aggressively towards developing artificial general intelligence, a hypothetical type of AI that poses human-level intelligence and capabilities across a wide range of domains. This decision, however, sparked a strong backlash from within OpenAI. A significant portion of the company's employees threatened to quit if Altman wasn't reinstated, arguing that his vision and leadership were essential for the company's success. Additionally, Microsoft, a major investor and partner of OpenAI, reportedly expressed interest in hiring Altman and his team, further pressing the board to reconsider their decision. In a dramatic turn of events, Altman was reinstated as CEO just a few days after his firing. The original board members who had orchestrated his removal were forced to resign, and a new board handpicked by Altman was in place. This incident left many questions unanswered. What had Altman done or said that triggered such a drastic response from the board? The answers to these questions remain a mystery, as OpenAI has been tight-lipped about the details of the incident. However, one thing is clear. The disagreement between Altman and the board members over AI safety marked a significant turning point in the company's history, raising concerns about the potential risks and ethical implications of developing increasingly powerful AI systems. Aya Sutskova, a co-founder of OpenAI and its chief scientist, was a key figure in the company's early success. His expertise in deep learning and his contribution to the development of GPT models were instrumental in establishing OpenAI as a leader in the field of AI research. However, after the November 2023 incident surrounding Altman's firing, Sutskeva became unusually quiet. He retreated from social media and public appearances, leading to speculation about his relationship with Altman and his views on the direction of OpenAI's research. This silence was broken in May 2024, when Sutskeva announced his departure from OpenAI on Twitter. His message was surprisingly brief and cryptic, simply stating, After almost a decade, I've decided to leave OpenAI. He praised the company's miraculous trajectory and expressed confidence in its future leadership. However, he also mentioned a project that is very personally meaningful to him, which he promised to share more details about in due time. This vague announcement sparked a storm of speculation and theories within the AI community. Some believe that Sutskiver's departure was due to a fundamental disagreement with Altman over the company's approach to AGI safety. Others speculated that he was simply moving on to pursue his research interests. The truth, however, remains exclusive, as Sutskiver has yet to reveal the specifics of his new venture. Sutskiver's departure was a significant blow to OpenAI, as one of the most respected figures in the AI community, his absence leaves a void in the company's research leadership. However, OpenAI has appointed Jacob Devlin, another highly regarded AI researcher, as the new chief scientist, expressing confidence in his ability to lead the company's research efforts and ensure the safe and beneficial development of AGI. Just when the dust seemed to settle after Sutzfiger's exit, another bombshell dropped. Jan Leek, the co-founder of OpenAI's super alignment team, responsible for ensuring the safety of future AI systems, abruptly announced his resignation on May 14, 2024, with a simple tweet. I resigned. His subsequent Twitter thread provided a more detailed explanation of his decision, and it was far from the diplomatic tone seen in Sutzfiger's announcement. Leek's core concerns was that OpenAI was not prioritizing safety and alignment research enough. He felt that the company was overly focused on developing shiny products that could be marketed and sold, potentially at the expense of ensuring that those increasingly powerful AI models were aligned with human values and safe to deploy. He expressed a sense of urgency, stating that, we urgently need to figure out how to steer and control AI systems much smarter than us. This pointed towards a fundamental disagreement with OpenAI's leadership regarding the company's core priorities. Adding another layer to the intrigue, Leek mentioned a struggle for computing. This suggests that his team, responsible for crucial safety research, was not receiving adequate resources, potentially indicating that OpenAI was prioritizing the development of new models over ensuring their safety. Leek's parting words were a passionate plea to OpenAI employees to 
learn to feel the AGI and act with the gravitas appropriate for what you are building. He urged him to push for a cultural change within the company, placing safety at the forefront of AI development. Leek's departure, coupled with his candid criticism, has sent shockwaves through the AI community. It raises serious questions about OpenAI's commitment to safety and the potential risks of its relentless pursuit of AGI. The resignation of two leading figures in such a short period paints a picture of internal discord and suggests a deeper conflict within the company. The departures of Ilya Sutsvigar and Jan Leek, along with the cryptic message in their statements, are fueled speculation about the existence of a secret AGI project within OpenAI. The phrase personally meaningful project in Sutsvigar's tweet and Leek's reference to AI systems much smarter than us have led many to believe that something significant is happening behind closed doors at OpenAI. Sam Altman's response to Leek's departure has done little to quell these rumours. While acknowledging the need for more focus on safety, Altman also defend OpenAI's strategy, stating that the company has been putting in place the foundations needed for safe deployment of increasingly capable systems. This statement, coupled with his assertion that there's no proven playbook for how to navigate the path of AGI, suggests that OpenAI is indeed exploring uncharted territories in its quest for artificial general intelligence. The idea of OpenAI secretly developing AGI raises a number of intriguing questions. What would such a system look like? The potential benefits of AGI are immense, but so are the risks. A misaligned or uncontrolled AGI could pose an existential threat to humanity, as it could potentially outsmart and overpower us in ways we cannot anticipate. The possibilities of a hidden AGI project also highlights the challenges of balancing the pursuit of technological advancement with the need for safety and ethical considerations. OpenAI's mission to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity, but the path to achieving this goal is fraught with uncertainty and potential pitfalls. As if the drama surrounding the departure wasn't enough, another layer of controversy emerged concerning OpenAI's use of non-disclosure agreements. It was revealed that all OpenAI's employees, both current and former, are bound by strict NDAs that forbid them from criticizing the company or disclosing any confidential information. But why would such a restrictive agreement be necessary? The NDAs also contain a particularly harsh provision. Employees who violate the agreement risk losing their vested equity in the company, which could amount to millions of dollars. This effectively silences any dissenting voices within OpenAI and raises concerns about transparency and accountability in the development of such powerful AI technologies. Daniel Cocotejo, a former OpenAI employee who resigned due to concerns about the company's approach to AGI safety, publicly confirmed the existence of the restricted NDAs. He revealed that he had to forfeit a substantial amount of equity, estimated to be around 85% of his net worth, in order to leave the company without signing the agreement. In response to the growing backlash, Sam Altman issued a public apology, acknowledging the embarrassing nature of the provision and promising to rectify the situation. He stated that OpenAI had never clawed back vested equity from any employee and would not do so in the future, regardless of whether they signed the separation agreement. This apology, while welcomed by some, has not fully addressed the underlying concerns about OpenAI's lack of transparency and the potential chilling effects of their NDAs on employees and researchers who have concerns about the company's direction. Recent events at OpenAI have raised concerns questions about the company's direction, ethics and commitment to AI safety. The resignations of key figures like Sutsvigar and Leek, combined with mysterious allusions to groundbreaking advancements and the controversial use of NDAs, paint a complex and concerning picture. While OpenAI maintains its dedication to developing AI for the benefit of humanity, the lack of transparency surrounding its research and the departure of those tasked with ensuring safety leave room for doubt. As the world watches OpenAI's next move, it's clear that the stakes are high. The choices made by this leading AI research organization will have a profound impact, not only on the future of technology, but also on the future of humanity itself. The OpenAI story is a cautionary tale, reminding us, even with the best intentions, the path to a beneficial AGI is fraught with challenges and potential pitfalls. And that's it for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you later.